Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl, Britt Reacts. And today we are reacting to Leslie Gore, You Don't Own Me, 1963. Let's see what she has to say. You don't own me. I'm not just one of your many toys. You don't own me. Leslie said, you don't own me. Okay. She cut her hair. <laughs> and I love this, like, pixie cut. She looks completely different. That's crazy. Is this, a, like, the beginning stages of, like, auto-tune on her voice? Her voice sounds like a little, um, I don't know why the word synthesize is coming to my mind. I don't think that's right. But it does sound altered a little bit like auto tune and it's making the song feel very, um, I don't know, it's just giving it the attitude that I think was intentional for the lyrics, right? Like, you don't own me, don't tell me what to do, don't tell me what to say. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Uh, love it. Love it. You don't own me. Don't try to change me. I never stay. Never stay. the queen of the originator of like independent woman first it was she's she was the one that i watched um and she did it's my party right it's my party and i'll cry if i want to then she said then she got judy back and now she's saying you don't owe me like she feels like queen of independent ladies all women who independent throw your hands up at me like i feel like miss leslie gore started the movement she is like no you don't get to do any of that, actually. I am my own woman. Okay. Is this a fountain she's sitting on? You don't own me. It's so... It, it's empowering. It's empowering. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, I would love for y'all to tell me the uh, difference, like the age that she was, like the age difference between her performing It's My Party because she seemed a lot younger there. She had like the really perfect flip of her hair and now she's got this like more sophisticated thing. She's like, you don't own me. Uh, I love that. I love it for a message of empowerment, honestly, to anyone in any situation at work. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not a slave to my work. I'm not a slave. You know what I mean? Like, a man, woman, I don't care. Like, you don't own me. I am my own person. It's an empowering message. But I do feel like she is like, the empowerment movement started right here. And Leslie Gore has the theme songs for it, right? It's my party. I can cry if I want to. I can't remember the, the title of the second half of that song where she, like, got Judy back. Um, but I now hearing you don't own me, it's like, okay, girl. All right. 
I love that. I love the setting of it. The, the, was this the official music video? She's sitting on this. Like, it looked like a fountain where the water wasn't running. I don't know. The camera was a little lopsided. It was. I love seeing how music has evolved, how videos have evolved, how, um, you know, mixing and mastering and uh, vocal, um, like, you know, effects on the voice, all these things, how they've evolved. It's so cool to, like, go back in time and see that. She has a really beautiful voice, and she has, like, she cemented herself with these classics. Um, all right. I love that. You don't owe me. <laughs> all right, y'all. Go have the day you deserve. Peace.